Hello, thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. And on this particular training, we're gonna be talking about how you can import your data, get your data into your phone burner account because you can't call it if it doesn't exist in phone burner, right? We gotta get it in there. So let me show you how easy this is. When you're in the contact manager, so under the contacts tab, you'll see over on the left-hand side, there's an import button. You're gonna click on that and that will take you to the phone burner importer. This importer is divided up into four steps. Step one, upload the data. Step two, map the data. Step three, organize the data. And step four, review, and then of course, complete the import. Now, if at any point you get stuck and you're not quite sure what to do on any one of these steps, you'll notice there's a question mark in the upper right-hand portion of the page. When you click on that, that'll bring up a video specific to the step that you're on. So right now I'm on step one. If I were to play this video, it would, play training regarding step one. Now step one's easy. I'm gonna choose the file that I wanna upload to the system. I can either drag and drop the file here into this, this, uh, this section here, or I can browse my computer to find the file that I wanna import. Now, of course, you do have to remember where you saved that file. Now, most of us, we save it on our desktop and things like that, but just depending on where you saved it, you, you gotta go and find it. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the file that I wanna import, my member retention file. And as soon as I select that file, you'll notice I immediately move on to step number two, which is mapping the data. Now, one of the first options that I wanna point out is the ability to have or apply a template when you're importing. If you're part of a team, you might already have a template in there, but if you're new to Foam Burner, you probably don't have a template. No problem, I'll show you how to create one and what it actually means. So let's scroll down and you're gonna see a couple columns here. These columns here on the left represent the data from your file that you're about to import into the Foam Burner system. These represent all of the columns on your file. And you're just gonna make sure that every column on your file that you want imported, that has data that you want imported into Foam Burner, is mapped to a field in Foam Burner, and that's this right-hand column. This right-hand column represents all of the fields that are available for you to map data from your file into. And you'll also notice that a lot of these fields are already pre-mapped. The system is going to try to map as much of this data as possible for you. However, it's not gonna be able to map everything and I'll show you how to deal with those. So down here, you're gonna see I've got notes. I don't actually wanna import notes. So if there's something that's mapped and I don't wanna import it, I just click on this and choose do not import this field. Now the system's not gonna import that piece of data into Foam Burner. Then I've got this other field here, join date. It's a date field. And I want that imported. So I want to change this from do not import this field to I need to import it into a field. Now, if it's a field that I want to import, but I haven't yet created that field or it doesn't exist in Foam Burner yet, what I can do is I can actually create a new custom field. So I'm going to go ahead and click create custom field. I got to choose the field type. Now, this is a date field. So I'm going to change this from text, which is just letters and numbers to date and then I'm gonna name this field. I'm just gonna copy this from here and paste it over here. Now you don't have to copy and paste. You can, you can name it whatever you want. It's totally up to you how you name it. But in this particular case, I want the field in Foam Burner to be join date. So I'm gonna set it to that. Now I've got one more field, total seats. I wanna import this data. So I'm gonna create another custom field. So I'm gonna choose create custom field now in this particular case, it's a number. So I want to change this from text to numeric. I'm going to set that to total seats. And there we go. Now I've got everything mapped, including the fields that don't already exist in Foam Burner. We're going to create new fields for that. And then finally, before we move on to the next step, I do want to point out that if you're going to be importing data from the same source on a regular basis, daily, weekly, monthly, or whatever, and you don't wanna to have to go through this exercise of mapping everything out, you just give that template a name. For example, this is my member retention data. I could give it a name, and once I've completed this import, the next time I come back here, I'll actually be able to choose my member retention template. Oops, accidentally unchecked that. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and move down to the bottom and hit next. Now we're on to step three, 
organizing our data. Where do I want the data that I've just mapped? All of these contacts that are going to be created in PhoneBurner, I've mapped all that data over. Where do I want it to go in PhoneBurner? How do I want to deal with it when it's put into PhoneBurner? I need to choose a folder that's going to receive all that data. Where am I going to put this? So I'm going to put this data in my member retention folder. I can add tags if I want to. If the tag already exists, I can go ahead and choose the tag here. Or if it's a new tag, I just type it in. Now, tags can have multiple words, so you can put spaces in there. So in order for PhoneBurner to know when you're done creating that tag, you have, you have to hit Enter. So once I hit Enter, you'll see that that tag has now been created on the PhoneBurner system. I can also add these contacts to a specific save search. I can also apply a lead source to that. Now, in this particular case, it's member retention data, so I'm not going to really worry about a lead source. We'll talk about lead sources again when we import our prospecting data. So I'm going to leave that empty, and now we're going to go to duplicate matching. Do we want to scrub duplicates? If so, do I want to scrub by email and or phone number? If I am scrubbing for duplicates, do I want to skip the data or update the data that matches? Now in this particular case, I'm going to uncheck that because I know all of the phone numbers on my file are actually duplicates, so I don't, want to, I don't want to scrub them out. And then the last option here is the DNC list option. Do I want to scrub this list against my DNC list? Not the national DNC list, but my personal phone burner DNC list. Now the first time you get started with phone burner, obviously you don't have anything on there, it doesn't matter. But in most cases, I'd recommend just leaving the set to do not import. And then I'm going to hit next. That's going to take me to step four where I can review the details of what I'm about to import and then I can click yes please import. Now the system is going to start to process this file based off of what I just told it to do. Now I actually have one more file that I want to import so I'm going to click on start new import and I'm actually going to bring over my prospecting list. So here's my prospecting list. I'm actually going to use the drag and drop option. I'm going to drag this and drop it right there. And here we are on step number two again, ready to map our data. If we had a template, we could use that. Otherwise, we're just going to go in here and manually map it. And most of this is already mapped for me. I got this date time option here. Um, I can import that into a custom field or use an existing field. This one's going to be a new custom field. This one's date and time. So maybe I'm going to leave this as a text field and just import the date and time so I can see exactly what that information is, right? Because we've got the date and the time, and I don't want to lose the time information by just putting it into a date field. And then, of course, I'm going to move on to the next step. Choose the folder I want to import it into. This is my sales campaign data. I can do another tag if I want. Save search, not going to worry about that, but lead source. If I've got different lead vendors that I'm purchasing data from, I might want to apply a lead source on import. So in this particular case, I'm going to choose my vendor one lead source. I'm not going to worry about duplicates or changing the DNC. And I'm going to hit next. Now I'm going to go ahead and import the data. And the system is going to process the file based off of what I just did. And I do not have to stay on this page. So when you have a large file that you're importing, you can actually leave this screen and the system will continue to process the file. So that's how easy it is to import your data into PhoneBurner. Here you can see that my file just completed importing. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure you move on to the next step and happy dialing.